guys welcome back to the channel uh just stepped in dk cycles man down here davis again you guys already know uh, come down here is always down here spending some money but this time i'm uh i'm gonna ready to get rid of the 23 inch front wheel that i have on my bike and i'm gonna go back standard i was gonna switch up with a guy that had a 21 but for some reason he's too busy so uh I'm going to go ahead and go back with a uh, enforcer uh, stop rim and start raking my bike to that 23 because once I do that I'm married to the rake and to the 23 okay and I don't want to do that uh, I'd rather be able to put something bigger like this on there or uh, a 21 on there without having to rake it and see how that goes but I'm going to go with this setup here because I like that wheel uh, especially with one disc on it uh, and the way uh, my bike is set up it, it should look pretty good on there <clears throat> it should look pretty good on this too. so it's got a pretty good tire on there it's a 130 of course so that's what they run on them I'm gonna run it and see what I got see how it feels and that's what we got man so you need anything like this right here some modifications done and once again you guys need to check out dk customs oh, yeah. they got a lot of cool stuff around here if you need something ordered of course you know, as y'all see boxes around that means he can order the stuff and gets it a lot faster than a lot of other people. I see other people having people stuff still on order and they ain't got it yet and still waiting. They can't ride because they're waiting on this and waiting on that. Not down here, Davis, man. I like those lids. They different. But uh, those bags, I like them too. They don't have a cut out at the bottom for my pipes, but they still look good looking bags, man. Okay, guys, I'm back. Ah, okay, here's the rim, man. The enforcer. That's what I'm going with. Yep. Uh, tie feels pretty good. Uh, it's got weights on it, like it's already been balanced. All I have to do is change my bearings and one other slightly modification that David told me about. Uh, and then I'll have uh, uh, a lighter wheel and that close to stock as i can get outside the motor and that's what i want man i'm about all that other stuff man you know with the big tires is there's always a hang up with that man all that looks good guys and a lot of you know it's safe to at a certain speed uh but it's basically you know from my experience if you don't do it right and that means raking and once you rake something you you know you locked in okay this way if i ever wanted to get rid of the bike it still had a stock front end on it and uh, uh that person won't be locked in on on a big wheel where the kickstand is barely can hold the bike up because it tilts over so far so i'm going to try this route here for 250 dollars man uh, you know tire rim rotor people on the line was trying to get three for this thing man uh some was five and six and you know i got two rotors here i'm gonna use one of them take one of them off have that look on it and uh we'll see man hey man y'all guys stay tuned man because i'm gonna bring y'all back online man for uh you know this uh this upgrade right here. i'm gonna call it the upgrade this upgrade right here okay all right guys till next time man